Hey everybody, welcome back to my Pokemon White walkthrough. In this part, I'm going to go talk to uh, Drayden and Iris and learn about the legendary Pokemon Zekrom and Reshiram. But first, I'm going to stop by the Pokemon Center, heal up, and swap around the Pokemon on my team. Okay. So, I'll tell you now that the next gym uses Dragon types, which is good because there hasn't been a Dragon type gym since Pokemon Gold and Silver. So, Dragon types are only weak to Dragon and Ice and resist a lot of things. So, the only thing that resists Dragon type attacks is Steel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Vanillish and get rid of Superior for now. And I guess I'll take Throw and get rid of Simipore. Like, maybe I'll just use like Throw to revive something. Alright, and then keep everything else. I especially want to keep Excadrill and Fracture. Okay, and then let's buy some items. Let's get some of these. Yeah, I'll tell you shop. You just go to a random item, go to a random number, and you buy them. Okay, uh, I have enough full heals. And get five of those, okay. I am set. Okay, there is nothing else you may do for me right now. I am done. Okay, now I gotta go talk to Iris and Drayden. Just a little farther! I could so picture, like, the anime voice of Iris, like, saying this stuff. I'm just, like, so used to the anime voice actors right now. Well, I mean, I'm not necessarily used to them, but I, I know what they'd sound like if they were saying this stuff, and that makes sense. Okay. So, something about twins. Uh, the twins got angry at each other. Um, uh, one Pokemon that was watching over them split its body into two and went on both sides, I guess. Okay, so, the Pokemon that split its body into two was Reshiram and Zekrom. I don't really care. Okay, Reshiram and Zekrom got in a fight and they hated each other. Destroyed Unova with fire and lightning. Then they disappeared. Yeah, they destroyed everything and then disappeared. Like most robberies nowadays. Okay, um, so, I'm gonna get, forgive Team Plasma, okay, can I go get my gym badge now? Thank you! Okay, so this little girl here, Iris, this 10 year old presumably, is the gym leader, the youngest gym leader in all of the games. It's pretty cool. Okay. So, we need to find the gym. That's not the gym, that's a tree. Uh, here we go. Ooh, cool looking gym. Alright, so here we go. Welcome to the Oplucid City Gym. Uh, okay, I'll have some fresh water. I could use that. Uh, brief explanation of the trick to the Oplucid Gym. Okay. The path on the gym is shaped like two dragons. Okay, got it. The path changes when you step on switches. Okay, so do I have to hit that like yellow thing over there? Does that change something? Whatever, okay, so like I was explaining before, dragon types only have two weaknesses, and then dragon type attacks are neutral to everything, include uh, um, either neutral or super effective to everything, except for steel types. So, you're gonna want a steel type, uh, maybe with like, a dragon type attack, like maybe Excadrill can learn Dragon Claw, that'd be good, but I don't think it does. I don't know, so anything with Dragon Tail would be okay. I don't know, but for now, I'm just gonna use Vanillish and knock everything out with Frost Breath. Now you're probably thinking, why Frost Breath and not Ice Beam? Because I'd like to save, oh cool, I leveled up. I'd like to save Ice Beam for the Gym Leader, and I don't want to have to go back and heal. Plus, Frost Breath will kill these anyway, because it always has a critical hit. And it already deals a nice chunk of damage as a normal hit, so a critical hit will kill it. Anyways, ooh, curves! Curves in a Pokemon game? That's awesome! Rather than, like, blocky corners, that's cool. I think this gym wins the award for coolest looking gym. Either this one or Nimbasa. Because the one in Nimbasa had roller coasters and was all electric-ish for an electric-type gym. So I don't know. But okay, we have a Dino. Dino, Dragon Dark type. First stage of its evolution, but it's still fairly powerful if I recall. However, I don't recall it being very defensive, so this Frost Breath should kill it. Okay, there you go. See, Frost Breath is just fine. I'll save Ice Beam. Not a whole lot of experience, but whatever. It's fine. Okay. So, jump from this triangle onto here. Right? Okay, cool. Okay, so the hand moves up. The head moves up. That's kind of cool. Okay. Uh, so I guess we go up here. And we have to jump on the switches. So, oh, trainer here. I didn't even see you. 
Oh, right. Well, that's okay. I'm getting plenty of experience for Vanillish. I would use Fracture, but I feel like Vanillish is going to be faster. Okay. So here we go. Fracture! Speaking of which... Even though I already took one of these things down uh, just a minute ago, but whatever. So here we go. More Frost Breath. Taunt. Well, that's okay. Buddy, I'm attacking, so thanks for the free turn. Not using whatever my poison type attack is that raises defense. I'm not using that. Okay. Uh, goodbye! Lots of experience. Let's see. 968, 1058 for Muna. Andrew goes to level 34. Fracture, another one. Let's keep it in. So fractures give off a lot of experience, which is good. I like that. Okay, what are you using? Dragon Claw. Ooh, don't kill me, don't kill me. Despite how I'm super effective towards it, it's neutral to me, not not very effective. Make sense? Okay. Dragon is neutral or super effective to everything except for steel. It's only super effective to dragon as well. Okay. There you go. Okay, so we hop on this one. That hand moves up. And the head moves another location, I guess. Okay. This puzzle doesn't seem that hard, but certainly cool looking. Like, look at that floor. That white floor. Is it black and black version? I don't know. I don't think they'd change that. I don't think they'd do color changes like that. Of course they do color changes, but I don't think they're going to change the tiling of a floor between versions. But you never know. Okay, so another fracture. I assume the rest of the shim is going to be fractures galore. There's not a whole lot of dragon types. I mean, there are, but not that trainers would use, because three of them are legendaries. And then you only... Ooh, I'm dead. Right, I never healed. Okay, we'll use my own fracture then. Yeah, I mean, there's only the Axie family, the, the Dino family, and then there's Drudagon, just kind of there. Drudagon will see momentarily, so let's get in a dragon dance. If I survive this, I can kill you. Of course not, I'm only fast and a strong attacker. I am not defensive. So we'll go with Food Man 28. Oh, right! Let's go, let's spark it up and hope to paralyze you. Okay, now Electroff should survive this. Oof, that was a critical hit, but dang, okay. Come on, paralyze. All oh, right, dragon types resist electricity. Ugh. I think they also resist fire too, but don't quote me on that. Um, false swipe. Yeah, kill me with false swipe. Okay, thanks for the free turn. Okay, now let's heal up. Vanillish. Okay. Ball swipe again. <laughs> Finish it up with false swipe fracture. Okay, now just because someone. Okay, you under false swipes. Just because someone in the anime tries to kill a hair cross with false swipe doesn't mean it works, okay? Besides, the hair cross won that match anyway. You under false swipe. Okay. You can use False Swipe as much as you want. I'm going to stay at 1 HP though, because that's what False Swipe does. It's used for catching Pokemon, not for battling. Oh, critical, cool. False Swipe is used, so you can catch Pokemon because it always leaves an opponent at 1 HP. It cannot kill Calm Mind, yes. False Swipe cannot kill an opponent. You can only leave them at 1 HP. Use it for catching legendaries and whatnot. You don't use it for battling. Well, I mean, you don't use it for battling trainers. Okay, that was your big mistake, but that's cool. I killed a dragon type with an electric type using crunch. Okay, so I gotta go here. Alright, and then the dragon goes up there. No, it does not. Okay, well, the gym leader's up there, just on a random floating platform. Now, as common as they are in platforming games. Oh, hi. My <laughs> trainer had to come around to curve to battle me. Now, as common as random floating platforms are in platforming games like Mario and Kirby, doesn't mean it's physically correct. By physically, I mean by physics. But whatever, I'm not in physics yet, so maybe there could be a floating platform, I don't know. Okay, so this is true to gone, just a plain dragon type does not evolve. It's fairly strong, but obviously, like, Haxorus is better than it at level 100. Maybe at, like, lower levels, this thing's better. Okay, this shouldn't kill me. Yeah! Frost Breath didn't kill you, but whatever, like I said, it's... Decent. Oh, right then. Goodbye, Drudagon. Hope I get a lot of experience points. 
Oh, Twee didn't level up. That's okay. Sorry, Twee. Okay, so let's heal up. And then we'll level up. Okay, so a Hyper Potion's what I need. Here we go, Twee. And then I'll give one to Food Man 28 as well. Now, I'm not going to revive Fracture right now. I just want to hang on to that. Okay. So here we go. Yeah, that's the thing. Dragon's super effective toward itself. And then Dragon only has two weaknesses, Dragon and Ice. So you're most likely going to use Ice against Dragon. Because otherwise, if you're going to use Dragon against Dragon, it's basically just who's faster. Because Dragons are powerhouses and not defensive. I don't think there is a defensive Dragon. Maybe there is. Whatever, more trainer battles. I'm trying to think of this as a defensive Dragon. I think they're all physical attackers. I don't know why there'd be a defensive Dragon. I don't know if it'd even be any good. Okay, so here we go. Dino! How you doing? Okay. Let's keep killing these dragons with Frost Breath. Okay. See, Frost Breath is all I need. No, it did not kill the Drudagon, but whatever. Okay. There you go. Dino is dead. Twee grows to level 37. That is good. Okie dokie. Another Drudagon. Okay, we're gonna keep battling. Now that I'm probably level 37, maybe Frost Breath will kill it? I don't know. We'll see. A little bit more damage. Then the critical multiplies that by two, so we'll see. Nope, I still need another Frost Breath. Ugh, whatever. Tis fine. Okay, here we go. One more Frost Breath should kill. Oh, I missed? Really? Ugh. Well, goodbye, Twee. Fine then. You wanna play that way? We can play that way. Let's go with Excadrill. Because Steel resists Dragon. And I'll kill you with Earthquake in just a second. Okay? So here we go. Earthquake. Alright. Kill you. There you go. Goodbye, Drudagon. <laughs> oh, I didn't level up, but Andrew did. Just one more level, Andrew. Okay, Fracture. Since Twee is dead, we'll just keep an Excadrill for this. Alright. Let's go, Earthquake. <laughs> I don't know if this will kill you, but... Okay, Dragon Dance. Well, that's fine. I hope you don't have an Ice-type attack, or a Water-type attack, or even a Fire-type attack, but I don't know why you would. Well, Fire, I guess, makes sense. And Dragonite can learn Water attacks. Dragonite can learn, like, everything. But whatever. Okay, so Earthquake. This should finish you off. Goodbye, Fracture! <laughs> And lots of experience for killing ya. Cool stuff. Okie dokie. Alright, so down here. We gotta jump onto this one. This seems like it's an easy puzzle. It's just a long one. It's hardly a puzzle. It's just like follow the path. That's okay. I could use the EXP and the, the, the money. Speaking of which, I gotta revive stuff. Well, not really speaking of which. But on the topic of battling, I'm going to need to make sure that I win these battles. Okay. And I need a super potion. Here we go. Okay, fully restored. You're going to be 1 HP short, but live with it. Okay. And up here. Okay. And then... I Do we go up here? No, I go back down here, kind of make a little loop. Well, all right then. Oof. Okay. And the hand goes up. Dragon head turns to the left. Okay. This is where the 3D comes in handily, handy. And you know, I kind of like how you can look down at other parts of the gym. Kind of, it's one of the reasons why, oh, whatever the steel type gym was in Diamond, Pearl, and Platinum was my favorite, because you could look down at other parts of the gym. It was a gym that fully utilized the 3D aspect of the DS. So does this gym. Well, so does, like, all the gyms in this game, really. It's, it's cool. I like it. Okay, so, my last Frost Breath. Hopefully it kills you. My last one. After this, I'll have to start using Ice Beam. I'm not going to use Icy Wind. Ice Wind lowers speed, so I'll only use it if I need to lower your speed. Drudagon, that's fine. I'll just kill it with Ice Beam, because I know Frost Breath wouldn't have killed it anyway. So let's go, Ice Beam. Not even with a critical hit, because Frost Breath only always ugh, always lands a critical hit. So there you go, Ice Beam killed Drudagon. Good job. Okie dokie. 
<sighs> Hopefully I'm almost done with the puzzle of this gym and I can actually get to the gym leader. I don't want to have to spend two parts doing the puzzle of this gym. All the more reason why I wanted to use Frost Breath in the beginning, but now that I'm out of them, I have to start using Ice Beam. Okay? Alright, see look, you can look down at other parts of the gym, it's awesome. Okay, so can't go that way, so we gotta go this way. Another trainer? How many trainers are in this gym? I hope you're the last one besides the gym leader. Whatever. Fine. More EXP for me. I don't, I don't have very many times when I can train Vanillish anyway. Okay. So here we go. Fracture. Ice Beam. If Frost Breath would... Okay, I should survive this. If Frost Breath would kill you, Ice Beam should too. Okay. That was not according to plan. Let's go, uh, not Fracture, let's go, Electros! Okay, let's paralyze it. Ah, Dragon Dance, of course. Alright. Well, you rose your speed, but being paralyzed, I believe, kind of drops your speed by two stages. So basically, you're at minus one speed. Now, I'm not sure about that, but I do know paralyzation definitely lowers speed. Okay, here we go. Alright. Dragon Claw, uh, if I'm dead, whatever. Yeah, still alive. Okay, so let's use this turn to heal up Vanillish. Alright, on a roll. Okay, okay. Okay, well, that's fine. I was kind of expecting Electros to die anyway. Now, since you're paralyzed, Twee should be able to go first. If Twee doesn't go first, uh, hopefully I just survive the attack. Now, I probably won't because Dra Ooh, I went first anyway. Dragon Claw killed me in one turn, but whatever. Okay, so Ice Beam kills you. Good job. Okay, and you have another Pokemon, right? Oh, level 37! You know what that means. Andrew learned Psychic. <laughs> and I said I'd evolve Andrew as soon as he learned Psychic. So right after this battle, I'll evolve him. Okay, Fracture. Okay, now hopefully I can kill this one. Just hopefully it's not that speedy. Taunt. Okay, well, it's speedy, but it's using Taunt. So hopefully I can kill it. Ha <laughs> Die, Fracture! <laughs> Alright then. Cool stuff. Okay. Now, we go to my bag. And Moonstone! <laughs> Finally, Andrew's gonna evolve, but hush, hush, hush! Silence for the evolution. Congratulations, your Andrew or Muna evolved into Musharna! 